What's up guys, and as soon as the jackhammer announced that today would be International Mock Day, I decided that I had to take part. However, I soon chose, instead of creating a typical landscape diorama, I would build this unique LEGO DSLR camera. The build took part in two stages. First, I had to make the lens, which has a focal range of 18 to 55 milliliters. Milli milliliters millimeters. Once removed from the body, we can compare it to the actual thing, revealing similar features such as the focus ring and manual focus switch. As you may have noticed, the LEGO camera, unlike the real thing, is unbranded and has zero custom stickers indicating focal length or aperture. This was to avoid covering the build in paper and stickers, much like many of LEGO's Speed Champion sets or the Top Gear car. The actual glass for the lens came from a pair of old Harry Potter glasses and it fits snugly inside the tire. Behind it is a piece of round black paper with aperture rings drawn on. Even deeper into the lens we can discover how the cylinder shape was made, stealing a technique from the Saturn V rocket. The grooved circle using an array of hinges, snot bricks and a couple of illegal techniques to achieve the outcome. What's so cool is that the lens is pretty much modular meaning you can easily change the focal length of the lens. By taking off the left part, the lens transforms into a 24mm. Or by adding additional blocks, you have an 85mm. The next part would be more of a challenge, the body. It would need a viewfinder, an LCD screen, and a dial to adjust the shooting mode, all joined seamlessly into the iconic shape of the camera. The design involves bricks in every imaginable direction, as portrayed by the underside. The handle on the right side of the body is a perfect fit for any hand, unless you're like a giant. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the controls and buttons are also located in comfortable positions. Around the back of the camera, underneath the bridge, we have the viewfinder, which is made with one of those um, inverted transparent round pieces. Yeah, those. Just to the right of the viewfinder, there's a bunch of buttons and controllers, which should probably all have some weird stickers on them, but as I said, they don't. Moving down, we see the image that's been taken in my bedroom. It's a massive mountain, probably the Matterhorn in Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, that, that's in my that's the view from my bedroom. Yeah. So once I had all of these key elements down, I had to blend them together. And as you can see, 99% of the pieces on this build are slopes, especially on the one side, which I haven't shown you. And it consists of basically a bunch of slopes. Around the front, there's a release mechanism on the right of the lens, which allows you to take it off and swap it for a different lens. But I only had enough pieces for one, so it's a bit redundant. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to say about this camera. Have a nice international mock day, stay home, stay safe, and to finish I'll replay the b-roll from the beginning.